Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. Also, always, 1776.com, a free site. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, I don't want my sports site here to turn into a political site. But let me just say I have noticed that um, the subscribers here, the viewers here, are very diverse by internet standards, right? In other words, um, you know, you have some uh, people here online who are very sensitive to social justice issues. You have another group who is extremely libertarian in their view of economics. Um, let's just say you have different groups, not all of them align with the current political parties. Now, I'm not here to shill for any party. But what I am here to do is to just point out something that's being overlooked by mainstream media and many of the pundits here online. And I think my group here is very interested in getting at the truth. Let me just say, too, my daughter is right off camera, so you might hear her in the background. Let me just say here this. And this is the point I want to make. Let's have a robust discussion in the comment section of this YouTube video. With so many major economies today being demographically challenged, right? A lot of old people, not a lot of young people. We're talking about, for example, Japan, China, Germany. I believe that you're going to have going forward the kind of situation you have in New York City right now where it's been determined that $1 billion in taxpayer funds have gone to New York City hotels housing illegal immigrants, right? Now, let me just make a point here. Politically, illegal immigrants help lower inflation. They often get lower salaries and they enable businesses to exist, right? Politicians know this, at least the smart ones, right? Cheap labor is in demand and will be in demand. Now, local union structures will prevent local domestic labor from serving that part of the market, right? Believe it or not, Joe Biden, and Kamala Harris are correct in letting the immigrants cross the border, in my opinion, right? Because without them, inflation would be worse. Inflation's bad enough. People are having problems feeding their families. If you go to a supermarket, if you go to a fast food restaurant, you know inflation has been out of control. But let me just say, it would be worse if you didn't have an illegal immigrant economy providing cheap labor, goods, and services. I believe New York City Mayor Eric Adams knows this. But of course, he can't go public with the statements. So, put differently, the here in the United States, the American teenager still doesn't want to pick lettuce, clean toilets, or move heavy furniture. Right? You drive up to a Home Depot, there are guys there ready to work. They'll jump in your truck. They'll come to your house. They'll help you remodel. Right, folks? Many of them are foreign born. They're helping the economy. So you have a situation where, of course, the critics want to make the claim that every illegal immigrant crossing the border is a terrorist, right? You have news reports where they don't highlight the local American who has done something stupid in terms of committing violent crimes, but they'll highlight illegals, right? As if there aren't hundreds of stories, hundreds of instances every day of violent crimes being committed in the United States. 
right? Just understand the reason for the hesitation in plugging the border, not just here in the United States, right? But in Europe, for example, the reason for the hesitation is simple economics. Illegal immigrants are a cheaper labor force. When you're in a country where right now the dominant political paradigm has governors like Gavin Newsom talking about livable wages, right, where they're prepared to suddenly overnight jump the minimum wage for fast food restaurants, right? The workers matter more than the consumers. And of course, not all workers, because when you jump the wage, people get let go. Restaurants close. Sometimes the people who lose their jobs are everyone working at the restaurant, right? Given that that's the dominant paradigm, I'm just telling you there are a lot of employers who, of course, aren't going to ask too many questions when someone shows up and is willing to work for a day. Then, of course, shows up and works the day after that, the day after that, the day after that, then is bringing in friends to help paint the building, help wash the dishes, right? Help do what cheap labor does, right? So food for thought, those are my views. It'll be a while before we get countries competing for immigrants, right? That's not fully happening now, right? The only competition seems to be for these H-1 uh, visa types, um, you know, for people who have college degrees, when in actuality you have another competition going on the immigrants showing up in New York City and getting a billion dollars worth of taxpayer funds. They're needed in restaurants. They're needed in construction businesses. Right? Keep an eye on the real story. And in terms of branding every illegal, <laughs> every illegal as a terrorist, just ask yourself, didn't the guys involved in 9-11 all have plane tickets? Folks, you have high-level terrorists. They don't have to swim across the river to get in the United States, right? The high-level terrorist actually gets training and then is able to buy a ticket and come to the United States, right? The entire construct is off. It's a 2024 construct. These are anti-illegal immigrant times when you and I know there are many employers in the background who are willing to employ them, hell, who are looking to employ them to save money. Those are my thoughts. Let me hear yours in the comment section of this YouTube video. What I want people to do too is look at the demographics of Germany, for example. Folks, they're dire. How's Japan going to make it? You have ghost cities right now in China during economically hard times. Right? Real estate there has cratered. What's ultimately going to happen is that a lot of these sovereign nations are going to start cutting deals with people. Right? You're going to have guest worker programs. That's how it's played out in history. Where they say, hey, come to our country. Right? You don't have a law degree, you don't have a medical degree, you don't have a college degree. It's all good. Come to our country. We'll work with local businesses. You can be here after a certain period of time. We'll either force you to go home or we'll allow you to apply for permanent residency. Right? One of the big stories going forward for investors like us is going to be the competition for cheap labor going forward. And this is at a time when AI, people like Elon Musk, who has folded his robotics company into Tesla, right? An argument can be made. That's the best part of Tesla, not the EV part, right? At a time when AI is replacing a lot of people, just understand there's always going to be that market for human beings, right? There's always going to be a market when they walk into a hotel, uh, a luxury hotel, wants to talk to an actual human. 
when they call some entity, they want to talk to an actual human. You have Discover Card ads out, where, of course, the person calls and is surprised to get an actual human. That market is always going to exist. Now, if local labor is going to price themselves out of that market, if politicians are going to gain votes by talking about a living wage, right, folks, I'm just telling you, that's going to make the hiring of illegal immigrants even that much more necessary. Those are my thoughts. Let me hear yours in the comment section of this YouTube video. Thanks for stopping by. There has to be